Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, a follow-up video to my um, manually tweaking your automatic tuner uh, video. Uh, I haven't posted that one public yet, but I'm sure somebody's going to ask, and the question that occurred to me too is, does tweaking your, manu your tuner manually for that little bit of extra um, better match actually affect the uh, radiated power at the antenna? You know, if you go from uh, a 1.4 to 1 to 1 to 1 match on the tuner, um, of course you're adjusting the uh, impedance match between the antenna tuner and your transmitter. But what does that do as far as the power that's getting pushed out to the antenna? Um, does that better match to the transmitter allow better coupling of power from your transmitter to the tuner and a little bit more power transferred there, which would of course increase the amount of power going out to the mismatched uh, antenna. Um, does it make a difference? So I thought I would figure out a way to test that. And uh, what I did was I took my field strength meter down to the bench. And when I originally built that, I just had a couple of banana posts on it for hooking up um, wire for an antenna. Uh, and I replaced the banana post with a BNC connector and I moved the ground um, connector out of the way too so I could stand the thing up. I don't know why I put that ground, BNC, uh, that ground banana plug on the bottom of it. Uh, but anyway, um, that allows me now to hook my field strength meter up to anything with a BNC connector. So what I have done is back here I have my field strength meter connected to my attic dipole which is up away from the coaxes and the radio and is in proximity to the other antennas. And I've got the transmitter hooked up to the vertical, which is about 15 feet away from the end of the house, so it's in good proximity to the attic dipole. So the field strength meter is now going to indicate the RF field coming off of the vertical antenna. And what I'm going to do is, is we'll go through the exercise again where we let the auto tuner do its thing um, and then fine-tune it and we'll watch the field strength meter and we'll see if there's actually an increase in the radiated field from the antenna by making that little bit of adjustment to the auto tuner. So let's try it out. Okay, nearly identical to uh, the way we did this on the previous video. I have the radio on uh, 80 meters in a dead area of the band. No activity right now. Um, I'm going to reset the tuner there and then do, let it do an auto-tune. Reset it. Okay. It has tuned to what it thinks is a good match. We're seeing about a 2 to 1 SWR and the field strength meter is showing just below the center of the meter. Now I'm going to manually, let's put this in manual mode, I'm going to manually tweak to bring that SWR down. And there we go, we brought it down to a one-to-one, -one, and that did go up. If you, I don't know if you saw that, but that did go up. So we definitely, by tweaking the tuner to get a, a better match, we definitely brought up the radiated power from the antenna itself. So that's pretty conclusive. Um, making that little tweak to your tuner manually to bring that SWR down just a little bit, um, definitely increase the uh, radiated power from the antenna a little. So, cool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.